former President Donald Trump told John Deere leaders he would change the financial landscape if they moved manufacturing out of the United States. Trump just destroyed John Deere and sent him into meltdown. John Deere, a well-known American farming equipment company, causing some controversy. The company is at a crucial point where they have to balance their traditional ways with new eco-friendly technology like electric machines. This change has sparked discussion among farmers and industry experts, and the farming community is trying to figure out how to combine old practices with the need for modern technology and care for the environment. Meanwhile, media stories may influence how people see John Deere affecting the company's future decisions. With all these challenges, can John Deere regain people's trust and continue its legacy while leading the way in sustainable farming? What implications does this have for the farming industry and for people like you and me? What's happening? After John Deere's big move towards eco-friendly technology, other companies in the agricultural machinery field quickly reviewed their own plans for sustainability. Many companies that were already slowly adding green technologies felt the need to speed up to keep up with John Deere. This change pushed the entire industry towards more environmentally friendly practices. Smaller companies without John Deere's resources face tough choices. Invest a lot in sustainability or risk falling behind. Inside these competing companies, opinions were mixed. Some leaders saw this shift as necessary due to global environmental goals and customer demand, while others worried about the costs and challenges involved. The changes also affected suppliers and distributors who had to rethink their own operations to meet new green standards. This showed how much John Deere's actions impacted the whole agricultural supply chain. Investors watched John Deere's decisions closely. The company's leadership had the tough job of balancing immediate shareholder needs with long-term sustainability goals. Shareholders wanted clear plans on how John Deere would stay profitable while investing in new technologies like electric machinery. The decisions made during this time would influence John Deere's market position and set an example for corporate responsibility in the industry. As things settled, big questions remained about John Deere's future strategies. Would the company continue to push hard on sustainability and risk market instability, or take a cautious path to reassure investors and traditional customers? How leadership handled these challenges would be crucial in keeping John Deere a leader in the industry while moving towards a sustainable future. But before we dive into that, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell leadership under fire. At John Deere, there were heated debates among top executives about moving towards sustainable technology. The leadership team was torn between the benefits of new innovations and the need to maintain their traditional customer base. This discussion went to the core of John Deere's identity as a key player in American farming. Executives were split on what to do next. Some believe fully committing to sustainability was crucial for staying relevant and protecting the environment. They pointed to global pressures to reduce carbon emissions and the potential of electric machines to transform farming. These leaders saw it as a chance for John Deere to lead the way in the industry. On the other hand, some executives worried about losing their main customers. Traditional farmers who had relied on John Deere's reliable diesel equipment for years were skeptical about new electric options. There was concern that this change might break the trust built over many generations. These leaders questioned if the market was ready for such a big shift and were nervous about investing heavily in new technologies without knowing if they would pay off. The issues went beyond just developing new products. The leadership team struggled with how to explain these changes without without seeming to abandon their core values. They needed to present a vision that combined new ideas with tradition to ensure John Deere stayed a trusted partner for farmers while moving towards sustainability. This required careful decision-making and understanding both market trends and customer feelings. Amidst all this, the mood at John Deere started to dip. Employees who felt connected to the company's history were uneasy about the potential direction change. The uncertainty about the company's future strategy created anxiety as people wondered what this meant for their jobs and the company's mission. This highlighted how leadership decisions can deeply affect company culture and employee morale. As discussions continued, the next steps for John Deere weren't yet clear. The leaders had the tough job of uniting different opinions into a strategy that could balance new innovations with maintaining the company's respected reputation. The results of these talks would not only shape John Deere's near future, but also its ability to succeed in a changing agricultural world. 
the widening political divide. The debate over John Deere's move towards green technology reflects bigger political and cultural divides in the US. As the company's decision became part of political discussions, it showed how people's beliefs can affect business and industry trends. John Deere's situation highlighted how politics and values can impact what consumers and companies do. People who support traditional farming saw John Deere's push for electric machines as a threat to the way rural communities have lived for a long time. They felt this change was part of a larger trend Trend where new policies seem to threaten economic stability and old values. This conflict showed how business choices can become part of wider societal struggles, impacting both the company and the communities it serves. On the flip side, people who focus on the environment praise John Deere's actions as necessary to tackle climate change and resource issues. They believe that modern farming has to include sustainable methods to keep agriculture viable in the long run. This view stressed the need for new ideas to reduce environmental harm and keep up with the the global shift to greener economies. The clash between these views highlighted the challenge of balancing business interests with environmental duties in farming. Rural communities were at the center of this debate. Farmers relied on dependable machinery and had to choose between sticking with a trusted brand and adopting new, possibly better, but uncertain technologies. Farming's deep cultural importance as part of American identity made this a more emotional issue, turning it into a matter of keeping valued traditions alive. The growing political divide affected John Deere's planning and operations. The company had to consider not just what the market wanted, but also the socio-political influences on how people saw them and trusted them. As these differences widened, John Deere's role as a leading company was both strengthened and challenged, depending on who you asked. The company became a kind of symbol in the national discussion about balancing economic growth and caring for the environment with its decisions reflecting changing values in American farming. Internal Conflict and Strategy Reevaluation as John Deere faced pressure from outside and uncertainty inside, debates about the future of electric machinery grew more intense. Leaders at the company had to juggle many different priorities to align their plans with what their stakeholders wanted. This period of reflection and reevaluation was crucial for John Deere to stay adaptable in a fast-changing market. One major worry was losing core customers who had always relied on John Deere's traditional equipment. Some thought that introducing electric machinery might risk the company's established market share Air, raising concerns about keeping customers and maintaining brand loyalty. The leadership team had to weigh whether the benefits of innovation were worth the risk of upsetting their loyal customer base, who valued reliability and proven performance. To better understand customers' needs, John Deere engaged with various stakeholders, including farmers and industry experts. They held consultations and feedback sessions to gain insights into how they could balance tradition with innovation. The goal was to integrate new sustainable technologies gradually without losing the trust and satisfaction of their existing clientele. This strategic review also led John Deere to rethink its corporate identity and long-term goals. They needed to find a way to honor their past while moving forward, making sure their mission and values remained relevant in a changing world. Leadership understood that a successful transition required embracing new technologies while preserving long-standing traditions. As these internal debates played out, it became clear that John Deere might need to significantly shift its strategic vision. The choices made during this critical time would determine whether the company could lead in sustainable agriculture or struggle to maintain its traditional market position. Successful navigation of these challenges was crucial for shaping John Deere's future and its legacy as a leader in the agricultural machinery industry. Bridging the Divide at John Deere, discussions about the future of electric machinery became more intense as the company faced both outside pressures and uncertainties within. Executives and managers found themselves in a complex situation, trying to balance many different priorities. They needed to align the company's plans with the varied expectations of stakeholders, including customers, employees, and industry partners. This time of self-examination and reevaluation was crucial for John Deere to continue thriving in a quickly changing market. A big concern was the fear of alienating core customers who had relied on John Deere's traditional equipment for many years. The idea of introducing electric machinery was seen by some as a risk to the company's current market share. There was worry that customers might not stick around if they felt the new products didn't match up to the old reliable ones they knew and loved. The leadership team had to carefully consider if the benefits of bringing in new technology outweighed the risks of possibly upsetting their longtime loyal customers, who favored tried and true performance over new and untested products. 
During these strategic discussions, John Deere made efforts to connect with different stakeholders, including farmers, suppliers, and industry experts. They started consultations and feedback sessions to better understand what their customers were worried about and what they wanted to see. These interactions provided important insights into how the company could bridge the gap between tradition and innovation. The aim was to find ways to slowly introduce sustainable technologies while ensuring their existing customers stayed happy and felt their needs were being met. The process of reevaluating their strategy also led John Deere to look closely at their corporate identity and long term goals. The company had the task of balancing its proud history with the need to innovate. They needed to find ways to honor their past while also preparing for the future. This meant reassessing their mission and values to make sure they stayed relevant in a world that was changing around them. The leadership realized that moving forward successfully wasn't just about launching new products, it required a cultural shift that embraced both technological progress and the preservation of long-standing traditions. As these internal debates unfolded, it became clear that John Deere might need to significantly change its strategic vision. The company was at a pivotal point where the choices made in these critical months would shape its future path. The question was whether John Deere would become a leader in sustainable agriculture or struggle to hold onto its traditional market position. Success depended on their ability to manage these internal conflicts and update their strategies to meet the changing demands demands of the industry and society at large. The road ahead for John Deere was full of uncertainties. However, it also offered opportunities for growth and adaptation. By directly addressing internal concerns and promoting a culture of open dialogue, the company aimed to create a unified strategy that could withstand the pressures of both politics and market changes. Successfully navigating this uncertain period would not only determine the company's immediate future, but also impact its legacy as a resilient and forward-thinking leader in the agricultural machinery industry. Rebuilding Trust, The Path Forward In response to the controversy and varied public opinions surrounding their shift towards sustainable technologies, John Deere focused on rebuilding trust with its customer base through a series of strategic actions. One of the central initiatives was enhancing customer support to ensure a seamless transition for those adopting new technologies. This included creating dedicated support channels specifically for users of electric machinery, where they could easily access help and resources tailored to their needs. Additionally, John Deere established community forums designed to foster open dialogue, allowing customers to share their experiences, ask questions, and exchange best practices with one another. Transparency became a cornerstone of John Deere's strategy. The company made it a priority to openly share detailed performance data and case studies that highlighted the real-world benefits of their sustainable efforts. By providing this information, they aimed to build confidence among customers and demonstrate the tangible advantages of embracing new technology. Apologies. In addition to improving customer support and transparency, John Deere significantly increased its investment in corporate social responsibility programs. These initiatives focused on community development and environmental conservation, aligning closely with the values of their customer base. By visibly committing to these causes, John Deere sought to reinforce their dedication to sustainability and further build trust and brand loyalty among their existing and potential customers. Strategically, John Deere embarked on a realignment process that aim to integrate sustainability into its core operations while honoring its rich agricultural heritage. The company's vision was to harmonize innovation with tradition, treating sustainable technologies as enhancements rather than outright replacements. This approach included the development and introduction of hybrid machinery, which combined the well-known reliability of diesel engines with the benefits of electric power, thereby catering to a diverse range of customer needs and preferences. A major component of John Deere's strategy was its focus on research and development. The company formed partnerships to drive progress in electric and autonomous technologies, setting ambitious sustainability targets. These targets included reducing carbon footprints and enhancing energy efficiency across their operations. By prioritizing innovation while staying true to their roots, John Deere ensured its continued relevance in the agricultural industry and positioned itself as a leader poised to thrive in a world progressively moving towards sustainable practices. Shaping Tomorrow's Agriculture 
the debate over John Deere's push for sustainability extended far beyond the United States, reflecting global challenges in agriculture faced by countries everywhere. As the company dealt with local political and environmental issues, it highlighted the delicate balance between satisfying local farmers and meeting international sustainability standards. This situation showcased a common global struggle in farming, finding ways to produce enough food for a growing population while reducing harm to the environment. Around the world, agricultural industries are feeling the pressure to adopt sustainable practices due to climate change, dwindling resources, and increasing populations. John Deere's move towards electric machinery became an example of how big agricultural companies can both shape and be shaped by these global trends. Their efforts to bring in electric machinery matched international aims to cut carbon emissions and promote green technologies. However, the local challenges they faced showed how difficult it can be to apply these changes everywhere, as different countries have varied levels of development, cultural values, and regulations that can help or hinder progress. The worldwide conversation on climate change added another layer of complexity. As countries discussed and created policies to lessen environmental damage, companies like John Deere found themselves at the center of these talks. They had to find a way to be profitable while acting responsibly. Their experience highlighted the difficulty of aligning their strategies with differing international laws and consumer expectations. It also raised questions about who should lead the drive for sustainability, companies, governments, or international organizations. Policymaking around the world started to take lessons from such prominent cases. Policymakers watched John Deere's decisions to determine how to create laws and incentives that encourage sustainable farming. The company's approach to innovation, customer interaction, and managing different interests offered valuable lessons on the reality of implementing sustainability in a traditionally conservative industry. These lessons informed ongoing discussions about how best to help the agricultural sector move towards greener practices without harming their economic stability. In this global setting, John Deere's situation raised important questions about the role companies play in shaping the future of agriculture. How can big businesses encourage new ideas while respecting local traditions and economic conditions? What responsibilities do they have in the global effort to fight climate change? As John Deere continued to adapt, its influence on both local and global levels became a demonstration of the complicated nature of modern agriculture, where the pursuit of sustainability must navigate through a complex mix of cultural, economic, and political challenges. The role of empathy in brand evolution Empathy became a key part of John Deere's brand development, helping the company understand and meet the diverse needs of its customers. By acknowledging the unique challenges and goals that farmers face, John Deere's empathetic approach strengthened ties with its customers. This focus on understanding customers emphasized the importance of considering their needs in all corporate decisions, ensuring that new products and innovations match the real-world experiences and expectations of those who use John Deere's machinery every day. John Deere's focus on empathy Empathy influenced every part of its brand, from product development to customer support and community involvement. By listening to farmers' concerns and aspirations, the company was able to shape its sustainable initiatives in a way that aligned with their values and needs. This approach not only bolstered loyalty among existing customers, but also drew in new customers interested in sustainable and advanced farming technologies. Strategies driven by empathy ensured that innovations didn't push away traditional customers, but instead offered them tools to boost their productivity and sustainability efforts. Building strong connections with customers required more than just understanding their needs. It meant engaging with farmers personally, building trust, and showing a sincere commitment to their welfare. John Deere accomplished this through initiatives like community forums, feedback sessions, and personalized support services. By focusing on open communication and active participation in farmers' lives, John Deere created a brand image that was not only innovative, but also caring and dependable. The advantages of an empathy-driven strategy went beyond customer relations. Acting ethically, guided by empathy, positioned John Deere as a responsible company committed to the larger good of farming communities and the environment. This ethical approach improved the company's reputation, making it a preferred partner for stakeholders who valued sustainability and social responsibility. Additionally, empathy helped create a positive work culture where employees felt appreciated and motivated to support the company's mission of aiding farmers and promoting sustainable agriculture. 
Looking to the future, empathy seemed essential for guiding John Deere through upcoming challenges. As the agriculture sector continued to change, the company's ability to understand evolving customer needs and societal expectations would be critical for maintaining its relevance and leadership. Empathy provided a crucial foundation for navigating the complexities of innovation, tradition, and sustainability, ensuring John Deere remained a trusted partner for farmers and a leader in shaping the future of agriculture. Embracing the future with unity, John Deere's journey through the sustainability debate led to a new path that combines tradition with innovation, shaping the future of farming. The company learned a lot from dealing with intense discussions, market changes, and shifting customer needs. Their vision for the future focuses on bringing different people together to work towards shared goals, seeing collaboration and understanding as crucial for sustainable progress. From their experiences, John Deere realized the importance of balancing new ideas with respect for traditional methods, engaging empathetically with customers, and the need for clear communication to keep their brand strong. These lessons guided the company's future strategies, ensuring they understood both market trends and the cultural aspects of the farming communities they served. By learning from the past, John Deere set itself up to face future challenges with strength and flexibility. John Deere's approach to handling the interests of different stakeholders stakeholders was complex. They committed to ongoing conversations with farmers, industry experts, environmentalists, and policymakers to make sure their strategies met the evolving needs of the farming sector. This inclusive approach helped build a community and shared purpose, strengthening relationships between the company and its stakeholders. By focusing on teamwork and openness, John Deere aimed to create a system where everyone contributed to and benefited from sustainable progress. There were many opportunities for growth and innovation as John Deere continued to explore new technologies and sustainable practices. The company invested in research and development and formed strategic partnerships to lead the agricultural machinery industry into a new era focused on efficiency and caring for the environment. Innovations like self-driving farming equipment, precision agriculture technologies, and machinery powered by renewable energy promised to change farming practices, boosting productivity while reducing environmental impact. As John Deere embraced these opportunities, they remained dedicated to turning challenges into opportunities for growth and change. Learning from past controversies and using those experiences to guide future strategies showed the company's resilience and forward-thinking approach. By continuously updating and improving their methods, John Deere ensured it stayed a leader in the agricultural industry, capable of steering its future in a way that respected its history while embracing the need for a sustainable future. But what's your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.